Gorgina girlies, hello. I am literally just home from town. Do you just need to top up on a few bits? I hadn't done that in a while and I just kind of wanted to like browse around town, get the few bits that I need and then come home and give you a haul. So we're gonna be doing the haul now of all the little <laughs> random things I got. So first things first, I topped up on my favorite skincare product in the world. In the world, in the world. If I have not influenced you to buy this yet, you need to try it. Especially my girlies with like more sensitive skin or acne prone skin, or you just feel like your skin's barrier is quite irritated, or maybe your skin feels dry. Do you know what? This is amazing for everything. So the Seek Plus Bam B5 Plus. So I got that because I'm literally out of my current one. Also, I get the smaller tub and my logic behind it is if I get the big one, I use too much. <laughs> at once don't ask then i got a new body moisturizer i just got something that's going to be very moisturizing because you know me i'm moisturized head to toe after every single shower and i need something that's going to be fast absorbing because it's cold but also just like a deep intense moisturizer because i have like all the fun scented body moisturizers but i just got this one i saw someone on tiktok talk about it deep moisture um instant in instantly absorbs to triple skin hydration and intensely moisturizes for 48 hours. So I got this, my new body moisturizer. Then I got incense. So one thing about me is I used to be a massive scented candle girly, but a lot of scented candles are filled with synthetic fragrances that can give you migraines, can give you headaches. They're just not good. Um, or I don't find them good. I don't like, of course, if you're a candle girly, that's fine. I used to be, a, I'm still a candle girly. I just like a good quality candle that's filled with essential oils because obviously if you're burning the candle, you're inhaling the fumes. And if the fumes are all synthetic fragrances, you can only imagine. And I used to burn like so many candles at once. So I switched over to incense. And I love it. I got this incense. This is like a spell incense for luck. Um, I got it recently enough. And I just found every time I would burn it, something lucky. See, look at me holding it. What? What's this notification now? <laughs> Watch me getting like a life-changing notification. Um, every time I burn it, something lucky happens. So I got this in Horn's Health, also in Horn's Health. I got a new crystal. So I actually got Fool's Gold, which is pyrite, um, because I went into Horns Health and I basically told the girlies in there that I want, because I have crystal rings, but my crystal rings are more protection. So this is obsidian, so this is protection. Moonstorm is all about protection. And then this is ruby and this is carnelian, which is more for like confidence and stuff like that. Whereas I wanted something for like financial abundance, those vibes. So I wanted something to wear, but they didn't, she basically recommended I get this one. And I feel like if you're looking for a crystal or someone recommends something, it's the universe. Like I think of this way for like books, podcasts, music, everything. If someone recommends something to you, you should at least try it. I feel like it's the universe putting it in to your path. So yes, I got Fool's Gold. So my plan with this, I just have it in my pocket for now. Um, I'm probably going to keep it on my desk when I'm working. And then I also got another crystal, which is, I think it was Goldstone. I had this before actually, and I lost it. So I got it again. Again, they recommended it. So I got the Goldstone as well. And then continuing on theme with all the incense stuff. So I got new incense. So I get my incense in Horns Health. It's very inexpensive. It's like 250 per um, thing. So I got Spiritual Aura. I got Divine Karma. I've never had either of these ones. Then I also got I don't know why, but I was really drawn to the black opium one. So I got that. And then I also got a blessings one. So I got five new packets of incense to go in my incense drawer to top myself up. And then I did get more crystals. <laughs> um, I don't know. I just feel like, I don't know. There's a lot of people been coming in and out of my energy recently. And I just want to, um, I got this, it's aventuring and it's for wealth and prosperity 
and I was just drawn to the aventurian of it all because I had a different crystal bracelet but it's actually like so close to breaking so I wanted to get another one I kind of want to get a few I don't know I want to get more crystal rings realistically but they're harder to find I have an astrology class tonight as well so I need to get ready for that that's in two hours time though so I have time I've already eaten my dinner I have a can of monster in the freezer just to give me that like boost of energy because obviously when I'm on the astrology classes I'm like I'm the one talking so I feel like I have to give a lot of energy which I love like that it doesn't drain me but I just need to be prepared I went to Boots and I went to Penny's and I went to um another Holland and Barrett so the first thing I got is dermaplaning razors because I was getting my face threaded for ages and ages and ages but I haven't got a threading appointment in a while also I feel like I don't know the threading just doesn't really last too long it's very annoying because it's like you get a threading and then a few weeks later you have to go again and I think it's the winter so the hair grows back less so because I've a load of blonde hairs on my face like my hair my face is so hairy but it's all blonde hairs you can't really see but I can see and that's enough for me so I got a dermaplaning kit so I think I'm gonna dermaplane my face after my astrology class tonight so I got a three pack and then go with the dermaplaning kit I got um these are in Holland and Barrett and they're 100% cold pressed oils so I got the cold pressed argan oil I'm pretty sure I had this before um it just looks like this so it's literally just 100% cold pressed argan oil. So I'm gonna put that on my face when I'm dermaplaning. Also argan oil is like one of the only oils that doesn't break out your skin and it's actually really good for oily skin. So this is the brand. They're in Holland and Barrett and they do like loads of 100% cold pressed oils. They're 100% vegan. Like the only ingredients in this is argan oil, which is usually a lot more expensive. This was only like eight euro and I had a four euro voucher. So it was only four euro. Then I went into pennies and I went into pennies for one thing I went in for this I went in for eyelash glue because I was out of eyelash glue and I was constantly using like those teeny tiny eyelash glues and I was like do you know what it's winter tis the season to have eyelash glue on hand so I bought that but then of course I got sidetracked by pajamas so vlogmas is coming up and although I won't be here for Christmas you have to have a Christmas pajamas do you know what I mean so these me and Shun go to Penny's, right? And one of our favorite things to do is walk around and feel all the pajamas. These are so incredibly soft. And I was like, bet you they're gonna be cuff legs because I love the wide leg. They're wide leg. And also a lot of times in these pajamas, the drawstrings are fake. So you can't like reef in the drawstring at the waist, but this drawstring is real. So it's like everything I love in a pajama pant. So I had to get them. They're so cute. The Christmas design is so cute. And they had a matching top. But I thought the matching top was overkill. Also, I feel like it just wasn't like my shape of top. So I got this red pajama top instead. It is also so soft. And look at that with the little buttons. Oh! Um, I love my pajamas oversized as well. So, oh my God, they're so soft. Anyway, then I got a pair of fluffy socks to match the vibes with the fresh pajamas. And then last but not least, right? So me and the earrings. So these hoops actually might as well be surgically attached to my body. Like I feel like I wear them so often that I don't even notice I'm wearing hoops. Like I feel like these hoops, I got them for my birthday uh, in 2020. They're like proper gold hoops. I don't know what carrot they are, but they're like gold hoops. And I wear them all the time, all the time, all the time. But I feel like because of the size of them and because I always wear them, like I look so weird without them. They're just my natural, like I sleep in them. These never leave my ears unless I'm like showering and I take them out in the shower and I wash them in the shower and I wash like all around my ears, whatever. So I want like a slightly bigger gold hoop. But my ears are really sensitive because I don't know why. My <laughs> I'm just a bougie girl. <laughs> So my ears, like when I put in these earrings, like these pennies earrings into my ears, my ears are like, girl, what are you, what are you doing? Like, absolutely not. But I want to wear, I want to have like different size gold hoops to switch out. So I want to get like proper gold ones, but I don't know what size I want. So I said I'd just buy these extremely cheap, one euro 50, like one euro 50. 
Anyway, so I want to get slightly bigger gold hoops. So I'm thinking when I'm on my way to Thailand in December, I'm gonna be flying through Dubai. But anyway, when I'm flying through Dubai, if you've ever been to Dubai airport, you know they have all the gold in there. So I'm like, that's where you're gonna be buying your gold hoops. Do you know what I mean? Like, I feel like, okay, wait, let's put up the hair. So I feel like this side is definitely like, these are slightly bigger than the ones I wear because the ones I wear are this size. So they are a lot bigger, but then these are just like, you know? So I just want to have like options for like slightly bigger gold hoops. I actually might, no, I don't want to go too big. I think these, this size. So like these are the ones I wear every day for context. And this is the size that I'm putting in now. I just feel like, and I know for a lot of people like these will seem big, but I wear them every single day. So it's like, they don't even, I feel like they don't even look the way hoops are supposed to hoop. I'm just such a hoop earring girl. Like give me a gold, a gold hoop any day of the week. Do you know what I mean? So I bought them and that's everything I bought. Hi vlog. I'm in bed. <laughs> I don't think I've ever vlogged crying in bed before. But I saw, oh my God, I saw a TikTok to watch the movie Man in Love. And it said it will wreck you. And I was like, okay, bet. Oh, if you want to cry, if you feel like you need a good cry, watch Man in Love on Netflix. I will absolutely be waking up with the most swollen eyes in the morning. It's 1 a.m. I've had a migraine all day. And I just feel like I needed to, you know, cry it out. I didn't necessarily have anything to cry about. <laughs> but that movie. <laughs> oh, I'm not well. I'm not well. I'm My face is so swollen from crying. <laughs> I've been back on my Love Assumption playlist because music, along with everything else, has a frequency and the lyrics are going into your subconscious. So no matter what music you're listening to, disregard my dirty laptop. So I made this playlist. It actually has 127 likes, which I think it's my most liked Spotify playlist, but it's all music with lyrics that are like, you know, mastermind, manifest, live your life successful just like magic like just all positivo lyrics about like abundance and doing well in life etc 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 because I have other playlists you know me I have a lot of other playlists you know we have Taylor Swift playlists we have my favorite songs my shower playlist but I went back to this and I've just been playing like different songs from it once a day and I really think it is helping with like the lucky girl abundance energy in my life. I was just dressing my bed. Look how fresh and how clean. I feel like that door beside my bed probably freaks a lot of people out. It's actually the door into the attic. Also, I know feng shui wise, I shouldn't have my bed pushed up against the wall, but I just like it in my room, do you know? Um, I just like it that way. So with the incense burning, I just kind of organized everything. <laughs> This table just gets ruined in incense all the time. Um, but I'm about to go for a shower because yesterday, let me tell you about yesterday. What day was yesterday? Wednesday. I just did not feel good. I was in bed most of the day. Got a really bad headache like all this side of my head. I actually still kind of have a headache this side of my head so that's fun. But I'm going to go now for a shower. I'm not going to wash my hair because I only washed it a few days ago. So I'm just gonna have a really nice body shower. I still kind of have a bit of a headache, so I'm gonna take it easy today. I had to cancel my astrology class last night, which is not ideal. Um, but it's so funny, because when I messaged the girlies about it being canceled, they were like, that actually suits. <laughs> so yeah, I feel like everyone was just on the same energy yesterday. I shaved my face earlier in the week. Um, I got derma planers, like home derma planers again and I shaved my face using this and some argan oil and it didn't break me out. My face feels so nice. So I'm gonna have my shower and then I think I'm gonna just do makeup just to make myself feel nice. If you want people stopping you on the street telling you that you smell like a vanilla sugar
I got it. One thing about me is I take smelling good very seriously very seriously. All the girlies on TikTok have been talking about this for months and I have been dying to know two things. One, where can I get it? And two, does it actually live up to the hype? I haven't even sniffed the bottle because I've been saving it for this video. Oh, there is no better compliment in the world than someone telling me I smell good and asking me what perfume I've on. She was right about the cookie. It smells like freshly baked. Oh, I'm about to drown my body in this and see how long it lasts. And yes, I'm about to layer it with the Lush Super Milk. I know this is for your hair, but I spray it on my body too because it's Lush. It's all natural. Do you know what I mean? So yes, all the girlies who use UK Amazon, you can get it. I have it on my storefront. There's only seven left though, so be quick. Saturday, Saturday, Saturday. I'm listening to Andre 3000's new album, which, fun fact, is all 432 gigahertz. So basically every music, every sound has a frequency and some frequencies are healing and some frequencies are not. And his new album is at 432 hertz which improves mental clarity removes emotional blockages reduces stress and anxiety gives you better sleep quality increases creativity and inspiration and strengthens the immune system so yeah i've been listening to that i actually fell asleep listening to it last night so i've been doing that but it is saturday and i'm gonna be honest i'm gonna be so completely honest with you right now i am <laughs> we see this is the luteal phase this app is called stardust by the way it's the best period tracking app and it tracks it with the moon which is really cool because obviously as women our bodies naturally go with the moon cycles anyway so this is me so as we can see everything has just dropped i'm running on nothing right now and my period is due tomorrow or monday but it's Saturday, it's a gorgeous day to be alive, do you know what I mean? And um, I'm about to, I need to go, well, no, I want to go to town today. It says it's not supposed to rain for the rest of the day, but will that happen? Who knows? I never put my hair up in a ponytail anymore. Um, every time I do it just literally gives me a headache. Also, do you know the way Snickers is like, you are not you when you're hungry? I'm not me when I don't have my gold hoops in. So I need to change that because I took them out last night before because I was wearing the cheap ones again. So I took them out last night before I went to bed. And we're about to do my skincare here. And then I'm going to go live on TikTok to do my makeup and like get ready. So yeah, because usually I go live on TikTok and do like the whole thing. But I feel like... You know, you deserve to see me do my skincare right now. Also, I am breaking out slightly. You can see here, here, here. There's just a few breakouts happening, um, but that is normal because of the state of the month that I am in. And also, we all know I have been on a skin journey, so one or two spots is not going to... I feel like... Do you know what the best thing about, like, healing your acne or like having an acne journey where like you went from like your skin constantly just being red and inflamed and you know whatever like my acne was so bad at so many different points in my life um and obviously the urticaria as well so I feel like now I'm like if I get one spot I'm like oh my god you know sometimes if I'm like find myself freaking out about like having one spot or whatever which I don't really do but if I do if I'm in the mood that I do, I'm like, imagine your younger self seeing your skin right now. She would pass away peacefully. You know what I mean? She would love it. So can we not give out about the one singular spot that we have? Great. I think everything's about perspective. Do you know what I mean? Actually, on my Instagram stories last night, if you will have seen, <laughs> I played this little game. I was going to the shop to get just like Friday night treats. I was literally doing nothing last night. All I wanted was a vanilla Coke Zero. So I was like, I'm going to go to the shop and get a vanilla Coke Zero. But I turned it into like an adventure on my Instagram stories. So I was like, want to come on a Friday night adventure? And then <laughs> we went on the adventure to the shop. We did all that. This is so funny. The headline was um, 
rats as big as cats in the housing estate and I <laughs> captioned it being like the rats might run this city after all <laughs> so I did all that had fun right and then at the end I basically said the moral of the story is everything has the potential to be an adventure if you want it to be kind of thing calling the little things an adventure can make life more fun which I completely agree with. I'm currently using the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Breakout, which has salicylic acid, lactic acid, and postbiotic ferment. So you're supposed to press it in to your skin and it says Bye Bye Breakout. So I'm just gonna press it in to the areas where I have a breakout and see, does it help? But yeah, I don't use this often, but it's, it Cosmetics sent it to me. Actually, I don't know, did I add that into my PR haul, but they did. See, I have like a spot. Anyway, it's all hormonal, but I'm gonna just press this It Cosmetics. Aren't you supposed to like slap your skin to like help collagen or something? <laughs> that, that could be a lie. Don't quote me on that one. But anyway, I. Put that on my skin we're just gonna leave that obviously first i use the cosmore x snail mucin essence this is actually on offer for black friday um on amazon now my approach to black friday has changed throughout the years i feel like a few years ago i've been like oh my god it's black friday like i have to get all the deals and like ah, ah, sales whereas now i'm like do i actually need it like i look at everything i have and i'm like what do i need sorry i've had an ice cold white monster just sitting on my desk unopened I nearly forgot about it and it would have went warm. Whereas now I look at everything I have and I'm like, okay, what am I running out of? What do I need? And then I search to see is there a Black Friday offer on that. And I think that's a better way of going about it because I feel like, especially if you're like me, you can get excited by sales and like discounts and being like, oh my God, I'm saving so much money. But it's like, do you really need that thing? So this is like the essence, but in a moisturizer version. So... I think they go really well together. I'm intrigued to see will that um, a cosmetics thing heal my breakout throughout the day, especially because I'm putting makeup on. I just feel like wearing makeup today. I just feel like coming up to my period, my face is so swollen, even though it's not too bad today. Usually I feel like it's a lot puffier. Next up on my face is the Dermalogica Power Bright Moisturizer, SPF 50, high protection. Listen, if you're doing all the skincare things and you're doing everything right and you're taking care of your skin, but you're not using an SPF daily, introduce an SPF in daily, it'll take it to the next level. Because SPF is the thing that like protects your skin from the UV, probably our laptops and our phones realistically. Like I feel like our laptops and our phones are probably, you know, having some form of damage on our skin. I don't know. That's just my hypothesis. I'm like, they're a light and they're like these lights that I, you, you know, like I know it's not the sun, but it's still an artificial light that's shining on your face. So I use that. And then I got this in a little Lancome gift package. I should have put it on before the SPF, but I forgot, but I still wanna put it on. So it's the Renergy eye cream. And I just, I don't know, I go between eye creams. Like sometimes I'm like, do they even work? And then other times I'm like, no, they do. And they really like plump up the eye. Someday, I'm just putting it out there. I'm going to be on a billboard someday promoting this because that's how much I believe in it. And I feel like Laroche Posay are going to discover me and I'm going to be the poster girl. I'm going to be on like a digital billboard. It's going to be like a video billboard and it's going to show my skin. And then I'm going to apply this and rub it in. And it's gonna like in real time show how it makes my skin look, how it immediately takes down my redness. Like you can see it. And I'm gonna be on a billboard doing that. 
I don't know why I just said that out loud, but I feel like it could happen. Like you can just in real time see how that's taken down the redness on my face. Like, like obviously my face, like the redness isn't completely gone, but it's going. That's all the skincare I do before my makeup. And I just like to leave the skincare marinate then for about five minutes before I start putting on the makeup. Cause I feel like, sorry, where, redness where? The redness on my face has left the chat. Anyway, um, I feel like you just have to like let this do its thing before you start with, with the makeup. I am obsessing over this song by the 1975. One thing about me is I'm not a big, it's not that I don't like the 1975, but I'm not a big 1975 girly. Like I don't know their lore. I don't know. I probably know a lot of their music, but I don't, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not like a big fan. Do you know what I mean? But this song is trending on TikTok. Specifically the 20 seconds that the drummer's wife, Carly Holt sings. Now she's not a singer. But that 20 seconds, that bridge, I literally put it, <laughs> I put it, <laughs> I, I, like the song is long. It's like a five minute song, but the best part of the song is the, this part of the song that she sings. So I put it as a note on my Instagram. I use Instagram notes and I just put a different song every day. And I hope the people who see my notes like are enjoying my music recommendations. The other night, I, the other day I had Night Changes by One Direction. Yesterday I had this one today. I'm just using it as like a way to be like, this is my music taste. I hope you enjoy it. Do you know what I mean? But anyway, I put, I put the bridge on my Instagram notes so that I can just play it on repeat. So I've literally just been keeping my Instagram open and playing it on loop. Like the things I post are more for me than anyone else. Do you know what I mean? But it is Sunday and I'm sitting on my bed. I'm about to do a Sunday reset. So basically just my room actually isn't messy. I just need to put away the clothes um, and I just put all the rubbish in a rubbish bag and I'm gonna like clean down my bathroom. Like I have the pink stuff and I'm gonna organize my makeup table, because my makeup table just gets so messy. I woke up this morning, right? And one of my first thoughts this morning was I'd love a scone, okay? I was just like, it's Sunday morning. Like, why didn't I like, I'm like, maybe I should go get a scone, but it's like pouring rain. And I'm like, I just want like a cute, fun Sunday morning breakfast moment. So I was like, oh, I'd love a scone. So anyway, I wake up, I'm like on my phone, whatever. And I'm like, okay, time to go downstairs, get some water, get some white monster and see what we're gonna do about this breakfast situation. My auntie is downstairs. What did she bring with her? Scones. I am actually a witch. <laughs> so she brought the scones Now She did bring the ones with the currants. So I had to pick all the currants out, but like it still hit. Like I was like, I actually create my reality. Like life is so crazy. So, <laughs> um, but I just want to have a chat for a second about the way I'm feeling right now because you know me when I have chats about feelings I kind of look off to the side but I've been kind of feeling the last few weeks I've been like oh I'm actually like am I living life breathing air right now do you know what I mean like am I living life to its fullest potential like what am I doing like I have like anyone's like oh what's your plan for the weekend it's like oh I have no plans you know and it's like yes I'm working yes I'm working towards things that I'm trying to like create in my life but like socially I don't have much going on on like a day to like my biggest social occasion of the week is recording the podcast with Neov, <laughs> or if I like go to Dublin to see my friends or if one of my friends happens to be home and I was just sitting there and I was like like should I be doing more and then I was like am I unhappy though and I was like no I'm not necessarily unhappy it's just like you know I'm 29 like I should be having plans and going places and doing things and I was like wait where is this my like if you're not unhappy because in my head I'm like Rebecca, you're literally going to Thailand at Christmas, like in a few weeks, you are spending th Christmas in Thailand. You're also planning on moving. You also have Vlogmas. Like there is a lot, there is a bu busy period coming up in my life. 
and maybe you're just and I know I'm in a season of like introspection right now because the sun's of my 12th house do you know what I mean if you know astrology you know what that means and if you don't know astrology basically the sun like every season so right now it's Scorpio season it's like if you're if you were born tomorrow you're you would be a Scorpio your sun sign would be a Scorpio and everyone has a birth chart and the first your first house in astrology is always your rising sign. So I'm a Sagittarius rising. So the sun is about to move into my first house and this first house represents self. And then every month of the year, the sun goes through your houses and each house represents a different part of your life, essentially. And I'm in a 12th house season of life right now. So when the sun is in my 12th house, it's all about like introspection and like being insular and all that kind of stuff and like self-reflection, all that. And the sun was in my 11th house in Libra season and like I was in Dublin, I'd say three weeks in a row. That was Libra season and the 11th house is like social groups. So I know that I'm about to go into a more busy season, but I'm just like, and then I'm like so many people, I feel like, feel like they should be doing more, you know? And it's like, I'm not unhappy. But then I look out into the world and I look at, you know, you go on Instagram and I don't tend to compare my life that much, but obviously it was like a subconscious thing I was doing. And like, you you know, you'd look on Instagram and you'd say, this person's going here, this person's traveling here, this person's on holidays here, this person is doing this thing and that thing. And I think sometimes it can get a bit overwhelming because you might be very content and happy in what you're doing but then you go onto social media and you see all these people doing all these things and then you start comparing yourself and then you start being like I'm their age should I be doing that like for me for example Maya Jama and Alex Cooper are both born in 1994 and I'm like oh my god the amount of like we were born the same year and like the amount of things they've achieved and sometimes I like look at myself and I'll be like I'm their age like what am I doing? But then I'm like, I know everyone has a different path and I have to like snap myself out of it. But I'm very lucky that I can snap myself out of it. But I know a lot, like a lot of people aren't. So I just want to give you permission that like, you're always on time for your own life and your map and your story and your way about doing things is going to be different to everyone else's and your path is going to be different because you've different lessons to learn along the way and just because someone is in their thriving era right now traveling or socializing or whatever doesn't mean that in five years time you might be in that era and they might be in an era of like learning lessons and a more difficult period do you know what I mean so I think this whole notion of like thinking we should be doing certain things at a certain age or living life a certain way because everyone online is it's such a bubble and it's so misleading and it can especially this time of year because it's darker and there's less daylight hours and we've more time to like think i think a lot of people can get caught up in the idea that everyone else's life is perfect and their life isn't and that's just not the case you know and i think we know social media is a highlight reel and we know especially Instagram. Like everyone's just spectating, everyone's just watching everyone's lives. It's a very weird place. I think Instagram's a very weird place. I've been coming to this realization more and more. Like I think TikTok, if you see someone's video on TikTok on your For You page that you like, you'll like, like it and comment. Whereas like if you're scrolling through stories, you're just kind of spectating. Do you know what I mean? And then YouTube, YouTube's my favorite place. Honestly, I love hanging out with you here on YouTube. <laughs> but yeah, they're my thoughts. I'm kind of like, I just caught myself slipping in a comparison mindset a few times during the week. And I was just like, and also I've had a headache for like three days straight. So I think I was in bed a lot. So I was kind of thinking more and I was like, should I like, what am I doing? Like, and then it's like, you're doing what you're meant to be doing. You're always doing what you're meant to be doing. Like once you're self-aware and once you're present in your life and once you're making decisions from a place of like, this is where I want to go and where I want to be, you know, you're better off doing that than making decisions based on like, well, everyone else is doing this, so I should do this. And I know that, but sometimes you can get yourself slipping. So I just want to give you permission that no matter what you're doing in your life, like you're on your path, you're not on their path, you're not on my path, you know? And I think I also remember like 2020, 2021, when a lot of people felt so trapped and felt so stagnant. Like I was fortunate enough 
to be able to move to Brazil in September 2020 and then from there I went to Dubai and then from there I lived in Spain you know so that was my season and before that I was in Australia like t traveling girly I was in Thailand three times in the space of like two years and it's like that was my that was a busy traveling era for me and now in the last two years I've gone through more of an introspective era we are doing vlogmas this year I think I said that in this week's vlog but yeah vlogmas is starting not next so last next week will be oh next week is the last Sunday before vlogmas no way so next Sunday and then vlogmas is going to be starting Friday the 1st of December and we're going to be doing a video every single day for December so next weekend is the last Sunday vlog and then there's going to be a video every single day okay I need to I need to prepare I need to get ready for that I'm so excited it genuinely feels so good to have my Sunday reset complete like I reset my whole room my laundry this desk this desk is just always gets so messy but I finally done it all. I spent my Sunday doing it all. I spent my Sunday cleaning this room and listening to a podcast and just like resetting my energy for the week. I think it's very important to like reset your energy for a new week. I don't know. I just think it's very important to like leave certain energy in the previous week that doesn't need to be like dragged in and like to be intentional about it. You know, like I think about the past week and how I felt in certain situations that have came up and I just kind of I'm like okay that is being left in last week like I don't need to carry this into a new week especially because this week Sagittarius season is beginning so yeah I just kind of set a few intentions and now I'm doing my I don't know what I call this morning skincare because it's 4 p.m but I'm about to sit and edit this YouTube video to get it up for hopefully around 7 p.m. on a Sunday evening so and then chill for the evening so this is kind of I guess this is my evening skincare it's 4 15. I had a shower I put on my skin stress because I just feel like I posted an Instagram story and I was like happy Sunday from me and the best item of clothing I've ever bought and genuinely like this skin stress I'll leave my affiliate link in the comment section so if anyone has been influenced to buy it from me, <laughs> that you can use my link <laughs> and help me out a little bit. But yeah, I just, I've worn this to a wedding. I've worn it to a funeral. I've worn it to bed. I wear it on Sundays chilling. I wear it to go meet friends. I've worn it on nights out, especially around Christmas. Do you know how they always say like, oh, it's great to have like a little black dress in your wardrobe? I also think it's great to have a long sleeve, long full length skims dress in your wardrobe. So yeah, it's just, I, I just know if I put it on, I'll feel good. It's just one of those items of clothing. And also because the material of it, it just sits so nicely. Like my mom got it recently. My auntie got it recently. Like I've just influenced so many people to buy it. And it's just, it is that good. So I've put on my skin stress. We're doing, I would say this is my evening skincare realistically. We're just doing it quite early in the day. My face has been quite dry and I was like, why has it been dry? And I've realized it's because I've been using the CeraVe salicylic acid cleanser because I ran out of my ordinary hydrating cleanser and I don't have a CeraVe cleanser right now. So the only cleanser I have is like quite harsh and I don't think I should be using that every day and every time I wash my face so I really need to get another one. I'm going to use the Cicaplast just around my nose because it's around my nose that feels quite dry. Also last night I feel like I didn't really actually have a good sleep because it was so stormy and I'm up on the third floor so my room is essentially in the attic so I can just hear everything. Like everything, everything, everything. I'm not going to do makeup today. I'm going to leave my skin breathe. It's 4.15. Like, why would I do that to myself? Like, this is my evening skincare routine. I know it's only 4 p.m., but it's about to be dark in 45 minutes. Do you know what I mean? I'm going to edit this YouTube video, get it up for around 7, and then spend my evening watching YouTube videos that I want to watch. 
Thanks for watching the vlog. Don't forget to comment and like the video and subscribe if you're not. Vlogmas is coming every single day of December. We will be, I will be uploading a new video. So that's going to be a challenge, but a challenge that I'm willing to accept because I did it last year. So if I did it last year, I can do it this year. Okay, goodbye. Love you. <laughs>